Joanna Gaines is looking back at her childhood. During an interview with People, the Fixer Upper star recalled being bullied as a kid for her Korean heritage. Quote, we were literally the only Asians in our entire school. Joanna, born to her American father and Korean mother, told the mag of her hometown of Rose Hill, Kansas. The home design guru recalled that her classmates would tease her for her lunches and she would get called names, sharing, quote, It was deeply personal because that was half of my story. I realize if this isn't accepted, maybe I need to hide it and play more into the other side of who I am. Adding, quote, My early memories, a lot of the things that come up are the moments where I switched off and I thought to myself, Oh, I can't be this, or I shouldn't be this, or this won't be approved. Like, I won't get the approval you know that you want as a kid. Joanna noted that when she left her hometown for college internship in New York City, that's when she began to see the world differently. Quote, I saw more people that looked like me than ever before. I left to really understand the beauty and uniqueness of Korean culture, and for the first time I felt whole, like this is fully who I am and I'm proud of it, she told people. The mother of five dives deeper into her past insecurity in her new memoir, The Stories We Tell, which hits stands November 8th. And the book is just one of her latest projects. Joanna and her husband Chip launched their Magnolia Network back in 2021, and at the time, the pair shared what their goals are for the network with Access Hollywood. Joanna, the <laughs> network is here, finally. Hi. Thank you I for just, having us. Guys, I'm just going way back. I remember my first interview with y'all with Fixer Upper. That seems like a lifetime ago. Wow. What does this mean to you? right now that you're launching your own network this is this is oprah stuff oh my gosh it's, we can't believe it we are not worthy this can't be real yeah this must be a dream <laughs> um and i will say that we just are freaking out we're so excited but then it's funny when when we hear you say how does it feel it reminds us that this is in fact real yeah and then it makes us kind of scared we're kind of <laughs> I think, we're nervous i and think worried. We've, we've been working so hard for the last two years on just developing and kind of creating all of these shows that you're you know our heads down just working and doing yeah the work to to launch a network and now that it's here it's so hard for us to actually do go wait feel, we actually have a network do you feel frightened yes or no True <laughs> i or mean false? i think all risk has a little bit of right in there right I, think. I, I felt so confident up till now, and <laughs> oh, now stop. I feel right. <laughs> well stop what's the goal with the programming what kind of stories what kind of shows mm, yeah yes authenticity that seems like a catchphrase and and i hate to use it in a, a trite way but it's just like real people doing real things that i think when people see that the way the production company puts together the real couple doing this real, I mean, the real people doing this real experience. I just think, I think that was the unique reality about Fixer Upper. It was a couple from a place that you felt familiar with, even though everybody obviously doesn't feel traditionally familiar with Waco, Texas per se. Yeah. It's the idea that it's their hometown. It's their uh, place where they feel familiar and comfortable. And so, you know, for us, it's just we want to really highlight people that are out doing amazing things. And in a lot of cases, this was something that sort of happened. We weren't looking for people, quote unquote, that were taking risks. But as we started evaluating these opportunities, we were like, man, these are risk takers. Mm -hmm. These are folks laying it all out there trying to create a dream that 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 could or couldn't come to fruition and to see that is inspiring even to Joe and I as we watch these episodes now we think to ourselves we can do it we are so excited about the future because we're watching these people take these really amazing risks and and I think that that's probably going to be a vein through throughout the network the risks the authenticity um, um, I think those are going to be the things that'll be the takeaways. Joanna, is this network hair that Chip's got? I mean, I feel like he could like, you could go the mun. You can, I, I, mean, this I is actually a, this like is when he, yeah. My girls really do play with his hair and now his hair is longer than Ella's. Joe at night. This is, this, this is, is not our, this me is at what night. happens at night. And you I'm wish. like, no, quit it, quit it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, we, we've um, got five children, let go. <laughs> but I, I, you know, it's kind of his like wild, free, adventurous side, which is huge. So I think this like matches his personality. And I've never had long hair. So for me, it's like, uh, you know, I've got all Why these not? little yeah. odd bucket lists that I want to say before I die, I did this and I did that. Long hair was one of them. Right. So How I've long are we going? How are we going, you know, I think up? This is about it. This is about <laughs> it. I think we've reached the maximum length here somewhere in this ballpark. But I will say the pandemic had a lot to do with this because like with lots of people uh, across the world, it's like, you you know, you couldn't go to the barber in a traditional right. sense. So I just started letting it go. And then <laughs> I really let it go. And now looking back, I've got some regrets. <laughs>